Hey guys, um, little surprise today. One thing I haven't uh, talked about in a while is Rotel 4 and my progress that I'm having with said lifestyle. You are not very likely to see from me um, because I find it quite boring and I never watch anybody else's uh, videos that they make in this format is what I ate today. Um, if you are interested in what I ate today, you can have a look at my Instagram. That gives you a rough guideline of what I've generally been eating day to day. I don't put everything that I've eaten on my Instagram, um, but I do put a lot of stuff and you'll see that, you know, I'm eating fruit and I'm eating high carb food. Sometimes I do eat like more processed stuff like tofu and sometimes the odd fake meat. Um, so you'll see that I'm not 100% perfect. And I just wanted to talk about my progress with Raw Till 4 and how I've been finding it. I said in my last video after I got back from Pi that I was just starting to listen to my body a little bit more, not forcing myself to eat too much, um, and just eating when I felt hungry because I do have to take care of my measurements, like I said before. I've actually switched things around a little bit, mainly... Um, just because of my particular situation, uh, I can get, um, there's lots of nice vegan restaurants and vegetarian restaurants in Bangkok, but if I'm just kind of like having a quiet day where I'm just, you know, at home replying to emails or just hanging out with my friends in this local area, um, the vegan street food places that are in this area are only open for breakfast and lunch. So often I will get up and have, um, either breakfast or lunch, um, at one of the vegan places. They do do a lot of um, tofu dishes and uh, like fake meat stuff, um, which isn't great. And I try not to eat there every day, but you know, it's yummy, it's high carb. And I think it's important to support um, these vegan businesses just so that people here in Thailand, because there's so much street food here and the, the pickings for vegans can be quite slim. Unless, you know, unless you're talking about fruit, which is obviously top notch of the best quality. Um, but I just wanted want to just encourage vegan businesses that, they, you know, that there is that there is there is a market for them. So I eat there most days um, and that's generally earlier in the day. So then I eat fruit later in the day. And to be honest, I have noticed a difference when I was eating fruit in the morning. It was a lot better. Like I felt much more energetic. Whereas, you know, when I eat like the high carb meal with like a vegetable uh, tofu curry or something in the morning then I do feel a bit low in energy until then I you know that digest and then I eat fruit um, so it would be nice to switch that up I am considering like maybe um, this is what my friend Heidi who was in one of my other videos does sometimes she'll go to the vegan place and then she'll just get you know a takeaway meal and then she'll have that later in the day so she maybe I'll try that approach and that might be better but generally in terms like in terms of how I'm feeling it would be better if I was actually following the raw till four guidelines you know and eating the fruit in the morning and the cooked food in the evening um, but in terms of my measurements I'm pretty happy like um, I am roughly the same as my contract measurements which is the measurements that my agency has stipulated that I must maintain um, or, or else, or else nothing. But basically, that's that, those are the measurements that they want me to maintain, and I'm about there. Sometimes I go one centimeter over, but considering I am eating whenever I'm hungry, that is fucking awesome, because most models, you know, if, if you're not familiar with the modeling industry and you don't know any models, most models are generally hungry a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, and that's another reason why I haven't done a Raw Till 4 video, because, you know, I don't really like talking about food all the time. I hang, like, I, this is one of the reasons why I don't hang out with a lot of models, except for a few select, you know, very conscious individuals who happen to be models, um, mostly, most of whom are actually vegan or raw vegan because they're all kind of, you know, on, on a spiritual path and they're starting to, you know, realize that, they, but they're just truth-seeking people, so they, they get it, they know what the fuck's going on. But most models that I kind of interact with and meet on jobs and stuff are, are pretty young, and some of them are not very bright, you know, just like the rest of the population. I'm not saying that about models as a blanket statement. Some of them are dumb, just because most people are dumb, let's face it. And they don't know what the fuck's going on, and they think that low-protein diets are the answer, and calorie restriction, and all they fucking talk about is food and how hungry they are, and that they want to go eat this, they want to go eat that, but they can't, blah, blah, blah. And 
it's just fucking boring. So that's why I don't really like talking about it that much and why some of my recent videos have been on other topics which I consider more important. Because frankly, if I made this channel just about food and how often I poop and what my poo is like and what my measurements are like and even energy levels and stuff like that, I would get completely bored of it. You would all get completely bored of it. It's completely self-indulgent. And frankly, I think people who are talking about food all the time and their weight like need to get a fucking life. Like, you know, it, it's true. I think Katie Kookaburra said this as well. She's just like, if your main focus is just like losing weight and and looking good in a bikini, you need to get a fucking life. Um, anyway, uh, for people who are interested in my progress, here is um, a little bit that I recorded of me in my bikini. Um, so yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with my measurements, but I'm not being too strict with myself. So as you can see, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I still have, you know, fat here and there, like I'm not, I don't look like freely, but I'm, I'm happy with how I look, and, you know, for the bits that aren't perfect, there's fucking Photoshop, you know, I'm in a place where I'm not going to be too hard on myself, I'm not going to be too insecure about my body, I'm going to, if I book a job, even if I have to do the job in a bikini, I'm going to give it 100%, even if I don't look perfect, that's what Photoshop is for, if a client wants a super anorexic model, or a model that's absolutely shredded to fuck, then they can book that girl, but she will probably, well, I don't want to say this as a blanket statement, but a lot of those girls can be quite insecure, like if they're not eating enough, they'll be completely undercarbed, um, so they won't have the energy levels to actually do the job, because sometimes these jobs can be quite physically demanding, you know, they're very early starts, long hours, in high heels, you have to have a lot of stamina and a lot of energy. Um, this is another thing that I didn't mention before. Whenever I book a job, usually I, I'm 100% raw when I'm on the job because if I have an early start and I am sh often shooting for like 12 hours in like high heels, in like boiling heat, the only thing that keeps me going through that kind of physically demanding situation is being fully raw. So fruit, papaya salad, that kind of stuff, amazing. Um, uh, yeah, so, you know, if they, they're going to book a girl who's really, really physically perfect, a lot of those models are so fucking insecure if there's like a little bulge or, you know, a little, you know, bit of like overhang of flesh that they can't fucking deliver like the expressions and the attitude that the photographer or the client is looking for. So you have to be happy in yourself and you have to be happy in yourself whether you look perfect or not. Obviously it helps the better you look and I do try and like, you know, not drink or not eat too much sodium if I have an important shoot coming up. But generally, I think the most important thing is to be kind to yourself and to be confident no matter where you're at and just just trust that the team are going to make you look good, you know, from the the photographer to the makeup artist, the stylist to the, to the retoucher, I'm sorry to say. And for anybody who is um, against Photoshop, let me ask you this. Um, would you rather have Photoshop or would you rather have models who actually are able to menstruate rather than develop a really fucking severe eating disorder and you have like models dropping dead left, right and centre? Because I've worked in this industry for 10 years and I've seen so many girls developing dangerous, dangerous eating disorders. Some of them have had to quit modelling, some of them have developed health problems. Yeah, once you develop anorexia, it's very hard for that kind of demon to actually, uh, to actually ever leave you. I know some people that, have, that, that struggle with anorexia for their entire lives once they develop the eating disorder. So for me, I think Photoshop is a good thing because it gives us a little bit of leeway. It means that we don't have to starve ourselves to oblivion because frankly, like the industry is not going to change that quickly that like if you ban Photoshop, then they're just going to suddenly start, um, you know, publishing imperfect pictures. No, there's just going to be more pressure on photographers, stylists, makeup artists, models to get the image looking perfect without Photoshop. So we love Photoshop and, you know, now that you're posting selfies all the time, you are starting to love Photoshop as well with the fucking filters and Photo Wonder and Liquify apps, you know, like, so don't say that you don't like Photoshop, you know, just my two cents. Yeah, so anyway, I am, um, so I just wanted to check in with the whole Raw Till 4 stuff because I know that a lot of people have come to my channel who are in the sort of high carb vegan community. So yeah, just keep you all updated, but I would like to get back to 
regular programming and talk about some more interesting stuff, really. Well, interesting to me. You know, if you're interested in like raw till four and diet and nutrition, that's great. And I do find the videos interesting sometimes if I need to educate myself about nutrition, but it's not, it's, it's not the thing that I'm the most interested in right now. Maybe I'm just not there yet. I, it, seriously, in all fairness, I don't want to hate on people who are blogging mainly about raw till four and nutrition because I do find your videos very helpful and very educational. I'm just saying that's, it, that's not going to be my main focus. Anyway, give me some ideas for videos and I will try and keep them as concise as possible and just, yeah, just, just uh, tell me how I can help you, how I can serve you. Thanks for watching guys, hit like and please subscribe. Diet, no, I have more dietary, oh, what the fuck.